All right, take a moment. See yourself sitting where you are. Chair beneath you, floor beneath that, ceiling above you. We're going to reach down, down through the floor, down through the foundations far beneath the floor. Reach down through the dirt, around the rocks. Keep on going down, down deep until we reach bedrock far below us. When we hit the bedrock, we'll search around until we can find that pool of water deep beneath the earth. The cool, crisp waters of chaos. And, with, and once we find them, we'll slowly begin bring them up into our bodies. With each every breath, the waters come higher up and up into our feet. Next breath brings them up into our legs, into our loins. As we breathe, the waters come up further up into our bellies, into our chests. Until with the next breath, the waters come up into our heads and pour out of our heads and our hands back into the earth. Each and every breath fills us with these waters from far below, the waters of chaos the cool, crisp waters. Feel these waters moving through your body, filling you with the energies that they bring. And take of these energies all that you need. And then now we're going to turn our attention above. to reach up to the ceilings and up through the roofs up through the clouds and up into the sky high above until we find that one star directly above our heads. We're going to reach up and reach up and pull down that fire from above, fires of order. Bring that fire down, down into our bodies with each and every breath. Bring it down into our heads down into our chests and our bellies. As we do so, we can see it mixing with the waters from below, filling us with the glowing light, of the fires and the waters. Each and every breath brings it down further into our legs, into our loins, into our feet, till we're full of the fire from above and the waters from below, mingling within our bodies. Take from these powers, the order and the chaos, the fire and the water, the, the energies of potential. Take them, what you need of them. Fill yourself up with them. And when you're ready, slowly push the fires back up, push the waters back down, keeping all that you need. Disconnect. And know that if you ever need these energies, you can always reach down, you can always reach up. But for now, take a deep breath in and out, in and out. When you're ready, open your eyes, prepared for the ritual. Our first offering, as always, is the Earth Mother. Earth Mother, you surround us, you support us, you feed us, you give us shelter. Without you, we would not be here. For all that you do for us throughout our daily lives, we honor you and we give you this token of our appreciation. Earth Mother, accept our offerings. The mother accept our offerings. We're here to honor the gods, the land spirits, and the mighty dead. We're here to ask blessings from the kindred. But first, let us hallow our hallows. Mighty well, you run deep into the earth. You connect us to the ancestors. We give to you this silver, 
We say sacred waters flow within us. Sacred waters flow within us. Mighty fires, you burn and transform. You send all we give you up to the heavens, to the realms of the shining ones. We offer you this incense. We say sacred fires burn within us. Sacred fires burn within us. That mighty tree, your roots run deep, far below the ground, into the wells, the lands of the ancestors. Your branches run high into the sky, the realms of the shining one. Give you water from the well, the smoke from the fire. We say, sacred tree, grow within us. Sacred tree, grow within us. Now my house and in all of our houses, by the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water, the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. Be Shelley. First, we call to the, oh, no, one step back. We call to the gatekeepers. Mighty gatekeepers, you have aided us throughout the years. You have opened the ways. You have watched over us. And you have protected us as we do our work. You have taken our messages far and wide. You have brought back to us all that we need to hear. Mighty gatekeepers, we call on you once more to do all these things. And to you, gatekeepers, we make this offer. Gatekeepers, accept our offering. Gatekeepers, accept our offering. Now, gatekeepers, join your magic with mine in my house and in all of our houses. With the wells open as a gate to the underworld. With the fires open as a gate to the upper worlds. Let the tree be the crossroads between all the worlds, open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be opened. Let the gates be opened. May they be opened in all of our houses. May they be opened in all of our houses. Now, call to the ancestors. To all of you, of our families, you have come before us. We offer you welcome. To all of you who we choose, our inspiration, our breath, we offer you welcome. And to all of this very earth, you who are here long before us, we offer you welcome. Come, join us by our fires. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Ancestors, accept our offerings. And now to the land spirits. To all of you of fur and feather, pale and skin. Including the ones making noise in my house, we offer you welcome. To all of you of leaf and twig, stem and flower, our plant kin, we offer you welcome. And to all of you of the unseen, the house spirits, and all of you that ilk, we offer you welcome. Come, join us by our fires. Land spirits, accept our offerings. Land spirits, accept our offerings. And to the shining ones, gods and goddesses of other days, you who watch over each and every one of us, our matrons and patrons, we offer you welcome. Gods and goddesses of this very place, 
you who inhabit this land before us, we offer you welcome. And to all of you, known or unknown to us, we offer you welcome. Come, join us by our fires. Shining ones, accept our offerings. Shining ones, accept our offerings. Now, if you have offerings of your own to make, please feel free to make them. I ask for sanity to return to all those that need it. There are no further offerings. Mighty kindred, gods, dead, and last spirits, we have given to you. We give to you one last time, and we ask for blessings in return. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Mighty kindreds, accept our sacrifice. And now, we ask, what blessings do we receive? Ancestors, what blessings do you give us? The ancestors give us Gabo. We were in a partnership. Gifts and reciprocity. Master, what blessings do you give us? They give us Thorazaz, the thorn, both defensive and offensive. The shiny ones, what blessings do you give us? <laughs> they give us one gel, the rune of joy and happiness. Well, I think this is saying we're about to go into mud season. Because <laughs> nature spirits are going to be not necessarily kind to us. But it's a time of change for them. New thorns will be grown on various bushes. Small animals like rabbits do need their protection. But surrounded by reciprocity and surrounded by joy, I can't help but read this as not harming us, but more of protecting. So I think these omens are good. Do we accept these omens? We do. I do. Then, ancient and mighty ones, we ask that you fill our waters in my house and in all of our houses. Fill them with the omens we have just heard. Fill them with the partnership and reciprocity from the ancestors. Fill them with the protection from the land spirits. Fill them with the joy and happiness from the shining ones. In each and every one of our waters. Behold the waters of life. Behold the waters of life. Now, let us thank all of those who have aided us. Shining ones, be our patrons and matrons, be you of this place, or be you unknown to us. To all of you, for all you have done, both today and throughout our lives. Shining ones, we thank you. Shining ones, we thank you. And land spirits, be our animal kin, our plant kin, 
or the unseen kin for all that you've done for us throughout the days and all throughout the years. Land spirits, we thank you. Land spirits, we thank you. And to the ancestors, be you family, be you chosen family, or be you of this very earth for all that you do for us and all that you have done for us. Ancestors, we thank you. Ancestors, we thank you. And mighty gatekeepers, you have opened the ways. You have brought back these lovely messages. You have guarded us as we've done our work. For all that you have done for us now and all that you've done for us in the past. Gatekeepers all, we thank you. Gatekeepers, we thank you. And we have one last request, gatekeepers. Join your magic with mine in my house and in all of our houses. Let the wells become but water. Let the fires become but flame. Let the trees become but a tree once more. Let the gates be opened. Let the gates be closed. Yes, let the gates be closed. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's one of those days, apparently. And Earth Mother. <laughs> Without you, we wouldn't be here. Without you, we would not be fed. Without you, we would not have the shelter that we have. For all that you do for us throughout the years, the days, for all that you do, done for us tonight. Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Mother, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, for this rite has ended. <laughs>